Happening now, new at 5, the Brazilian Center for Cultural Exchange of Sacramento is fighting for a new space after finding out their lease would not be renewed. ABC 10's Alicia Machado is live at City Hall and supporters are actually gathering as we speak. So what can we expect there tonight, Alicia? Yeah, Chris, Laura, that group of supporters actually went into City Hall just a few minutes ago after dancing and drumming outside of City Hall. And um, also one thing that we're learning tonight is that um, they are having uh, 17 days left in their space at Clara Studios in Midtown, where they've been for the past eight years. The center holds dance classes and a slew of different styles, including samba, salsa and East African dancing. It's also a cultural hub for the Latino community. She tells us she's invested $80,000 of her own money into the center for items like renovation and upkeep of the building. Today she plans to ask the city for the money she invested to be returned and for a new location for the center. I think that the Brazilian center deserves a home and I urging if the taxpayers money is going to go to arts and culture, make sure that we have a fair place that is for arts and culture. Not what you say that is matters is what you do out there in a community that matters. I spoke with Clara Studios Executive Director Megan Wygant about the matter. She tells me the Brazilian Center is being asked to leave so they can convert the space into a short term rental for community arts groups to use the space for a couple of weeks at a time and rotate. Under the current system, Wygant says they are running a deficit, so the board went forward with a strategic plan. This is part of that plan. In a statement, she added, quote, the Clara board acknowledges that the Brazilian Center offers a robust arts program and is hopeful that the Brazilian Center will continue to serve the community from another location. Now, there are seven organizations currently in the main building of that studio, um, but we've been told by the executive director that those spaces are currently full. We will continue to follow this and have more for you coming up at six. Indeed, we're going to be tracking the story throughout the evening because we expect them to speak there at City Council tonight. Stay with us for updates. Alicia, thank you.